Okay, so is that a transformer? Yes, it is. So it's taking the 120 volts and stepping them down to 12 volts, right? Yes. Hmm. How does it do that? <laughs> Going through all these coils, caps, diodes, they all have a certain percentage that they kick everything down. Hmm. So what happens with the extra voltage? That I do not know. Or is it just stopped in its tracks? Well, it comes in at 110, and then this mm -hmm. takes that power and then transforms it down, mm -hmm. and then all these diodes kick it down a certain percentage so that the voltage doesn't exceed the 12 volt regulated. Mm -hmm. It just regulates the power. Hmm. Very interesting. Uh, so somebody had already changed that part or not? Or is that the way? No, I just took this out. Oh. The wires were oh. actually uh, shorting each other out. Uh-huh, in there. So I just cut it out. Yes, okay. And that's the shrink wrap there that you've got on it? Uh-huh. Oh. Hmm. What makes it shrink? Heat. Oh, okay, so you heated it up? Mm-hmm. Uh, with what? I used the soldering iron. Oh. I didn't grab the heat gun this, or yesterday. Mm. So that'll really toughen it up, won't it? Mm-hmm. Should no longer be able to to short. Yep. And you had another. You put another connection in the long wire too, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Okay. It's smaller, but it's tougher. Yep. Right. Doesn't want to mm. flex right where it's joined together. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks for explaining that. Mm 